Hey everyone, I'm Logan Schinholster with Contractor Growth Network, and let's go ahead and jump on in to a random painter's website in Minneapolis. So, uh, coming on down, the first thing that we're gonna obviously look for is who is showing up at the top, right? We're not gonna go to the fifth page of Google to figure this out, so we've got three options. Varsity Painters, Five Star Painting, and McCabe Painting. Um, McCabe's out because they only have five ratings at a 4.2 star, but now it's up to, what do we look for? We're we looking at 4.7 stars, but nine, or 4.4 stars at 39. It's a toss up. I'm gonna go 4.4 at 39 just because there's more volume there. Let's see what we got. And the first thing we wanna look for is initial gut reaction of this website. The reason we always wanna look at or, or determine what the initial gut reaction is it's because if it's not good, if it's not a good initial impression, then your website and your company is going to be spending the entire session that the person's on this website trying to dig yourself out of a hole. All right, if they come in and it's not a good first impression, you're in big trouble. So, scrolling on down. Initially, this is really good. I like this a lot. Um, it's straightforward. It looks good. This must be a, either they have a really, I mean, they do a really good job of this or it's a franchise. Got it. It's a franchise. All right. So all in all, initially it, it feels good. Like it feels comfortable. It's a solid company that I would want to hire. Now let's talk about some of the issues though. First off, they're throwing a lot at you at the top, right? A ton at you. So what they're doing is you're a homeowner and you're trying to figure out you know, which company do I hire? And now it talks about franchise opportunities. Like why, why is that even in there? Like if you are the owner of this franchise, I would be pissed because it's like selling something else. You should be selling your services. There should be a different aspect of franchise or a different place for this, but it's a lot at you. It needs to be clean and simple. This is one that we've done nice and simple. And what it does is it draws your eyes to the red, to the maroon. It wants you to go in a certain direction. This one, you've got neon green, you've got all these different options at the top. It's too much, it's overwhelming. All right, yes, it draws your eye over to the red to schedule a free estimate. So that's good, but the rest of it, the neon green is a lot. Uh, why us, about us, resident? I mean, it's just, it's a lot of stuff going on. All right, so all in all, it doesn't really pull you to one specific location because it's just throwing so much at you at once. So. Um, the rest of the page is solid. This header at the top takes up too much. If you notice when we come down, ours drops. You can leave them, like the, the menu at the top is, is what's called sticky, so it keeps coming down, but this on my laptop takes up about 30% of the page. So it's kind of a lot. Um, the rest of it's solid though. I do like the rest of this page. It looks good. Um, the only thing though, it doesn't feel like, like they do a lot of the right principles, but it just looks like, I mean, it's, it's obvious it's a franchise. And generally, if, if you're a homeowner and you're gonna look between a franchise and a non-franchise, you're gonna go with the actual local company, not just uh, the franchise, all right? So all in all, good first reaction though. It's a little bit overwhelming, but that's okay. All right, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna really look at how easy is this website to use? Because the easier the website is, the more likely it is that people will fill out the contact form and the more likely it is that they're gonna hire you because it feels easy. Perception is reality. When your website is hard to navigate and difficult and confusing, so is working with your company. It's just this fact. So let's say we go for the home run, which is schedule an estimate, but maybe they don't want that. Maybe they just wanna learn more about the process and that's okay, right? We still walk them through how it all works working together, right? The easier it is, the more likely it is that they're gonna fill out the contact form and the more likely it is that they're gonna actually want to hire you because it feels easy. And when your website feels easy, so does working with you. They're gonna assume you're easy to work with. Flip side, let's say the website is very difficult to navigate. What are they gonna do? They're gonna assume working with you is very difficult and that's the last thing that you want. So make it easy, make it simple. Now, the third thing that we wanna look for, and let's check out this website. It, it looks pretty easy, but um, let's say we want to do paint a kitchen, um, interiors, exteriors, wallpaper, garage, pressure washing, carpentry, I guess interior. If we want to paint a kitchen, um, I 
All right, you see, see this is where the problem now starts to happen, is it's not a good layout. We still have this header at the top that takes up half the freaking page. Um, and when people start to come down, um, it's just all text, which is not what people want. They want to see some visuals. They want to see a little bit more. Less is more. The, the more we confuse them by throwing words at them, the worse it's going to be. Do we really need to list out every single room in the house? Where people are going to go, oh, wow, I, I wonder if they can do, you know, if they can do a kitchen, I wonder if they can do a living room. If they can do a living room, I wonder if they can do a dining room. It's, it's just a lot. So let's actually read what they're writing here because this needs to feel personalized. Interior painting, why do they do it? To update the home, they wanna feel trendy. This is who their ideal client is, is they get their, uh, their cell phone upgraded every couple years, their, their actual style, their sense of fashion updates. Why not your home? And this is what we're going for here. Feel trendy in your home. We've already experienced these other trends. Now it's time for your home. If you're constantly changing to keep up with technology and fashion trends, why shouldn't you keep up with the home trends? So now we're almost like guilting people into it. They know they need to do it, but now we're saying, look, it's silly that you you're get the new iPhone every year, but your home looks like it hasn't been touched in 15 years. That doesn't make any sense. And that's what we're going for. That's how it feels personalized because people will read this and go, ah, that's me. So let's see what Five Star Painting said. Uh, from your bedroom to your living room and every surface or, or room in between, we offer leading interior paint services to improve your home with paint. Okay? It's amazing how color can make a world of difference. Proper paint job can revolutionize a property from bland to beautiful and bright. The right shade can enhance any room. We can take on any room. Um, we use quality products. It's okay. They, they start to touch on it a little bit. You know, this can enhance a room. It can make it go from bland to great, but... It's not enough, it's not enough of a visual. You wanna feel that visual. This is why we talk about some of these 80s pastels and 90s beiges and the, the dark wood trend of the, tw of the 2000s. The more specific we can make it and the more of a visual we can make people have, the more likely they're gonna build rapport with the page itself, okay? The next side of it is now that we personalize the experience and why people are buying from us, we now need to show them what we're talking about. This is a trendy home. This is a trendy kitchen. We can't say feel trendy in your home and show something outdated. Okay, it's your home. We're here to treat it with respect. Guess what? We show somebody actually in painting in action where we, you know, cover up the chandelier, change the feel of the room, like update it. You know, that's that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to show them that we actually can do what we say we can do. We're not just a franchise that just bought in and, and just want to do it. We actually know what we're doing. We even have testimonials to back it up right there and that's exactly what we want um it, it's yeah i mean it's exactly what they're going for as a company um so that's all i can really say this one doesn't really show it it talks about it but i don't really see any testimonials it just has a generic picture right there it just doesn't show it it feels bland okay so that's what i, I hope that you're starting to see more of is that the difference is, is one is it, it's less, there's less going on, but it's more personalized. It's here's the, who, this guy is gonna be in your house right here. Where, where's the guy coming in your house on this page? There is none. We don't know who that is. All right, so we're not showing who the company is. Let's check the about us. Let's see, maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll be like the saving grace on all this. About five star painting. Our work. I mean, you, people hire people, they don't hire businesses. They hire people. So when you go on the About Us page, and the first thing that they do is, is they, I mean, it's good that you're talking about the, um, you know, all the, the COVID stuff, but you don't really know much about it. Why should I choose? I mean, so let me show you the About Us over here. Okay, first thing you see is boom, the team. People, they wanna hire local. We all wanna hire local people right now. Here's our history. Here's what we stand by. Let's say, meet the team. Let's check out who's on the team. Okay, again, there's the team. And as you scroll down, guess what? Here is the team itself. Here's who you're gonna be seeing, right? And if you really want, like maybe you wanna go show up, you can actually check out the office that they're in. So there's a lot more to this. And each one of these, if you click on this, it pops up with a, a bio of that person. 
a nice video. So it's a lot more of a personal feel. So if you're looking between two painters and one, you have effectively met everybody on their team before they showed up to your house versus you have no idea who's coming out to your house. People want to hire those that they already feel like they're trusting and they're building rapport with and you're losing it on this page. Okay. And the very last thing that we want to look for in a website is going to be best practices. All right. They do a good job here because they have the schedule a free estimate button in the top right. They have a good um, button in the middle of the page here. They're doing a good job with the best practices, which I like. Um, it's a bit overwhelming, so I'm not going to knock them on that. They do a good job on that. They have video on here, which is good. I'm going to guess it's going to be a generic video. This by clicking on the schedule that needs to be drop cross equipment supplies and ladders. It's good. I like that. I'm okay with it being a bit generic. Um, yeah, all in all, I mean, it's yeah, it's a solid website. I would say it looks good. It's very generic. So now, when it's generic. You don't have that local hometown feel to it. And when that happens, that's when people price shop. So there you go. There's a review, five-star painting in Minneapolis. The good is a good initial feel to it. They have the right website set up. The bad is it's obvious it's a franchise. It's very generic. It doesn't really have much of a feel to it. So it's like going to, you know, a McDonald's that it's just, it's not a local uh, company versus going to your local restaurant up the road. Think about which one you would go for, and there's your answer. Thanks.